Hello, grade two. Guess what? It's Friday. It's Friday and it's math time. Do you know what? On Fridays during a remote learning, we will only have half a day. That is partly because sometimes our week gets away with us and you need to have some extra time to do some work that you might have left aside for at this day. That's okay. You need to take care of how you're feeling. How are you doing? I hope you are doing well. I am praying for you. And I know that you have been praying for me and I thank you for that. Even though we cannot be together in the same room, we can be together in our love for God. He is good. And I am so thankful for what he is doing right now. I trust that he has the best plan in mind, better than we can even imagine. And that brings me joy. Even in this time where I can find things that will make me sad, even angry, I can still have joy because we can have joy in the Lord and what he is doing and what he will do. Today in math, we're only going to do a short page. That's because we only have a half day and you have been working hard. Today's practice page is not very long. We are in, in sorry, and it is more of the same activities that we've been doing this week and telling time. By now, I think you probably feel like an expert, but it's good to practice it so that you can build those strong roads in your mind about how to tell time using an analog clock and a digital clock, but a digital clock is often a lot easier to tell than an analog clock. I'm just going to share my screen with you so that we can get started. All right, here we go. On today's page, there are only nine clocks to fill in. Please be careful to remind yourself about the shorthand and the longhand. These clocks show time at the quarters. You need to draw the hands for the digital time that's shown below each clock. And that's the same as what you did yesterday. That's okay. Today's page, there are different times than the other page. So once you are finished filling in the hands for these nine clocks, guess what? You're done your math for today. That's a little bit early and nice and quick. I hope you will find some good rest this weekend. Don't forget to ask your grown-ups to check your work. And if you need to fix any of them, don't grumble and complain, but rejoice because it will help you to learn it better. Be patient, take a deep breath, and do fix what needs to be fixed. Then ask your grown up to take a picture and it can be sent to me today with the rest of your work. You'll see that there are more things on Google Classroom. So I'll encourage you to have a look in the classwork section of our Google Classroom. Please let me know if you have any questions and I'd be happy to help in all the ways I can. But most of all, I want to pray for you because God is better than I and he can take care of you much better than I can. Let's pray together. Dear God, we thank you for who you are. We thank you, God, that we can rejoice even if we are finding it difficult to not see our friends, and some of our family. We're finding it difficult that we can't do the things and just have the choice of doing things. 
something that we're so used to in our neighborhoods and in our um, just our day-to-day -day weekly activities. There are many things that we really miss. But God, there's one thing that we just can't miss because you're always there and that's you, God. And that gives us joy. Please, God, give us peace at this time. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Have a great weekend. I will see you again on Monday. Bye-bye. God bless.